Um, Rails, you can take you can take AG. Dragon can take ITG. All right. So for Team AG Table Flip Kings, we're gonna have Lust, Kill Toy, Sideways Box, and Haxer Mode slash Hib. And for ITG, we have Jules, China, Sunshine, Simba, and Yo Yo. Indeed, we're gonna have AG over here on the server side first, looking to beast their way through this map and hopefully make it to the safe room at some point. But they have a long way to go, and hopefully IG can put up some resistance here for them. Boomer Spike by the taxi gets popped right away there by Coach. Really nice shot. And that's gonna cause the rest of that side to work their way in here. Hunter gets skied right away, and Jockey dead stopped. And absolutely. Actually, there was some damage going out. Four points of damage going out by Yo Yo onto survivors. And a bit of friendly fire, I think, as well, because two guys got damaged in that. Interestingly enough, the survivors are choosing just to kind of beast out here and run those four shotguns just to shut down all the SI they possibly can. So like you talked about, they're probably going to be blitzing their way through this map. Indeed. And just for you guys that have not been uh, informed, I am trying out some new settings on OBS. Um, we are running this stream now at 720p with 60 frames per second at a 2700 bit rate. So luckily we got quality options at 60 viewers, which is really unheard of. That's incredibly low to get uh, stream... Uh, you know, quality options. That's like usually you get that like 100 or 110 or something like that. And uh, 60 is just really low to get it at. And we do have Prestige uh, going for the draw crown on the witch, pulling her out. And the SI tech is going to follow. And Hunter gets that stuff though, and witch gets draw crown. Really nice shot there by Prince Prestige, who I believe is Hib. And that's going to yep. be the entire attack. Boomer gets popped as well. So really, SI not really faring too well here. I'm not sure if it's just because they're going in from a really far distance and Survivors can chip them down, or if. It's just something else. I'm not sure. It seems as though the team uh, AG Table Flip really is just kind of rolling with their uh, team chemistry so far as well. Like They know exactly where to play yeah. and exactly where to cover. Uh, and they're running four shotguns as well, so I mean, there's no SMGs, but at least they've got mobility without uh, loss of you know, uh, Accuracy weapon whatnot. efficiency. So pretty much looks like they're going to try to keep staying mobile here as the next set of spawns come up for our special infected team with a spitter, a charger, a jockey, and a hunter. Looks as though uh, Team Table Flip is actually going to be running to the left side there through the pool instead of going up top. Indeed, we're going to have a spitter. decided to take a uh, science SMG now as well, so I think he's expecting this tank, or is it around here or is it later on? The tank's going to be at 74, so it's kind of close. Alright, next area then. Looks like the SI are going to hit the survivors here over at the corner. They're going to drop on top of them from the looks of it, or even drop from behind. We have a hunter pre-spawned up, so this is where the attack's going to take place. And survivors are just taking their time and checking the rooms for pills, it seems. And maybe they're going to rotate up top, actually. Or do a 2-2, actually. They're going to split up here. That's interesting. I think they're trying to actually spawn block up top there. Um, you see Coach in the hands of sideways boxes kind of jumping up and down to block the spawn. So looks like the infected are going to go for this corner hit with a hunter pre-spawned up. I'm going to be very interested to see exactly how this pans out for the Infected with the spawns coming from the back. Hunter's going to jump in right now and he's going to get dead stopped and shut down by Coach. Spitter spawns up as well, Jockey going in, Hunter gets skeeted. Uh, Charger's going to go and try to land and actually does get a nice dual nice. cap going out here with a Jockey and a Charger and that spit. That's some great damage going on to Team Table Flip right now coming from Team ITG. That looks like it was going to go pretty badly but they really salvaged that attack. Indeed, really great nice SI effort from ITG, yeah definitely. I mean, going for the established guns in this match. Yeah, that was like 146 damage, I think, from pretty much... They hadn't gotten anything up to that point, but now the chip on uh, Team uh, Table Flip King slash uh, is actually pretty pretty, pretty good for this tank, I'd say. Uh, they have another tank going in right now, as the tank does spawn up. Spirit's going to go in there and try to hit Rochelle. Smoker's just kind of running around up top, and we still have a Hunter and Boomer waiting to spawn, so the tank is up in the hands of Yo-Yo. What would you guys want to do with this? Do you want to throw it over to a Survivor or an Infected War Room? Mm, I think we strike with Infected. You want to okay. the worm? Let's toss it over there. What the fuck? I fell. Uh -oh. Damn it. I can't see. I can't see your rage, eh? It's forty-five. I don't. There's no hub for me. Type uh, exclamation mark tank hub. Hey, hey, hey. Nope, didn't work. I'll have to hey. go from up top, you guys Let's gotta get go so I can get, get a boom. A wow, no rock selector. I got nice. it. Nice, 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 nice. 
Um, hold R and then press M2. Maybe that'll work. Nope. Nice, bro. It doesn't curve as good, damn. I need a hit right now. I'm gonna pull. No, I'm not getting a hub. Uh, they're gonna push the shit out of you. Yeah. With your second pass, right? Yeah. yeah. Go, they're pushing forward. That's really lame. They're gonna make it A. Yeah, you can get that boom. I'm gonna come at it. Okay. okay. Nice. Nice, go help. Nice. Nice. Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes. Oh, that's a light. Give her oh shelf. my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love you. Oh man. Good job, though. She's got no melee, though. I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, no, I'm not. And we're back. That was the Team ITG War Room. Amazing tank play. And King Kill Toy actually manages to get a clear onto the Hunter finally, and that means that Coach is not going to die in the hands of Swib. But amazing tank play there. Wow. Well, you should have heard uh, Dragon and I when we were uh, sitting here. I'm just gobsmacked after that, honestly. What a fantastic play from ITG right there. Um, I think it, was, it must have been Hib's um, decision to push down the cliff. And the tank was so close to going AI, but just keeping it at 5% frustration. And not one of the players from AG actually kept uh, watching that boomer spawn. They only had to block that one spawn behind the tree, and that would have actually saved them their health bonus. But, well, they had four shotguns, they were eager to go right up to the tank and land those bug shots, let the boomer slip right in, and now they have no perm health left. This is still a big problem, because only Killtoy is up right now, and you still have the smoker pulling onto Ellis, and, uh... Yeah. Killtoy almost has a decision to make here. There's still quite a bit of horde left, and he has to either decide to clear Coach or clear Ellis. I think one of them might be pretty close to dying, and the SI that do spawn up might actually be able to get the kill on one survivor, so whoever he did decides to not keep clear. So this could be a real decision breaker here. I think he should probably go ahead and clear Swib and just keep him alive. Uh, Hib can take a few more shots from the common that are beating on him, and... Uh, that was just a beautiful SI support there, too, on that tank. Like, the Hunter and then Smoker pulled. Yeah. Like, Alice almost got the clear on the coach. And if that Smoker landed a, a split second later, it would have landed. And the other thing, I think it's Killtoy has to reload, because I see him on pistol right now, from my perspective. Because if he has to reload, that's going to even cause a little bit more trouble. And they have a couple spawns coming up only in a couple seconds' time. But yeah, this is, this is quite the... Uh... Quite the way to start off this match here between Table Flip and ITG. Yeah, I honestly wasn't expecting that at all, and I do actually agree with Dragon. That was probably a Hib strap to push forward. Um, Hib, known for his uh, very dynamic calls, they, it's very he, he calls things that normal callers wouldn't call. It's a very high risk, high reward type situations, and uh, unfortunately for them this time, that was not a high reward situation that you know played out. Well, I for one actually encourage like teams and players to think outside the box and do something against conventional wisdom because when you actually do that at times, it can actually bring you large profits in terms of bonus if done well. But it has to be an informed decision. I'm not entirely sure if that particular push right there was much of an informed decision. Right, because they, they pushed and I think the hit was just coming up there as well too and they had to jump down and try to clear those common. Anyway, we are going back live. Indeed, we aren't not Killtoy. Killtoy. Killtoy has Alice to clear one of these people. Pulled. Hib might he's die. He's he's might, he might die. He's dead. He's dead. Killtoy is deciding to not go for the clear onto Alice, and it pays off with a death for the SI. And it's better goes. Look at the spin on Swib. Swib is very low. He has to get this pickup. He, get, he gets intercepted. Oh. oh my gosh. He's going to have to eat this boomer. 
Can Jockey going on Coach Lands and this Boomer? Sh Is, can they even get Ellis on no. there? Wait a minute. Can, or Nick, can they even get him? Um, not, not sure I don't think they can pick him up. I don't that. think they can. I think they have to walk all the way around if they want to actually get him up. Uh oh, wait. Oh, no, no, they no, are getting him up. Yeah, yeah, they're just getting him up. It was incredibly oh. dark in my stream. I'm sure nobody saw anything right there. That corner is incredibly dark. But with survivors do manage to make a pass attack, albeit barely. And uh, so I was just working the way, trying to make the save from him at this point. We have a hunter jumping around. I don't think he's going to initiate, though, without the other support from his SI. And a nice pull there onto Rochelle in the back, and that's going to cause a char charger and hunter working away. Oh. Nice charger onto Ellis, and this could be the round. Oh, Indeed it is. The white. Wow. That is insane. Wow. That is... I did mention at the beginning of this that uh, we were waiting, like, Patiently for any sort of surprise, just in the hope that it does happen. And well, we got a surprise <laughs> well, we got right there. Don't we? Wow. I mean, last night we wished for a surprise, and we thought that was going to be a somewhat one-sided game, and that turned into, bar none, probably one of the best, best games I've ever seen. Yeah, best of the yeah. tournament by far. Like that was an incredible match to uh, actually cast and partake in. Oh, good. Now we can die there as adults. Thank you. That and then uh, as well, like we honestly didn't. And after we casted that game, just the way in which that game went. But if you would have told me that that would have just happened now. But what what ITG really really needs to do now is they need to ace this chapter. They need to they need to get as much. They need to capitalize on this honestly yeah. as much as they can. The thing about Dark Carnival is that it's very much like a momentum campaign. You want to establish that momentum and hit the ground running in like the first two maps, because once you reach map three, most teams usually do fall apart at about the coast and wipe. So, you can't bank too much on making comebacks around about map 3, unless, like, the stars completely align for you and your team. So, yeah, ITG needs to be thinking, clear this map, get good bonus, and carry on that momentum into map 2. And if they can come out of the other end of a tunnel, like, on sunshine lollipops and shit, then they're gonna be running high. Sunshine oh, lollipops and shit. That's beautiful. But we do have eight people ready up, but I am one of those people, so I believe someone did DC, and indeed they did. It would be one of the players from ITG. Um, I believe it was Yo-Yo Yogurt. Yes. We have to wait for him to come back here. Uh, another thing to mention about table flip, however, though, is when uh, my team was scrimming them, actually, in preparation for the uh, first round of the tournament, and we got a pretty good lead on them, too, from a similar uh, situation on map one, but they came back and they managed to take the game from us, so... Yeah, the thing the thing about uh, teams definitely of table flips, uh, t a AG table flip king's power is that they can come back and they're never out of a game ever. I have to say, ITG might be feeling pretty good right about now, but they have to realize that all four players on the other team, AG have amazing tanks. Like each and every one of them can yeah. play a tank to you know its fullest capabilities and are just really heads up when it comes to tank play. And uh, it's not going to be an easy task beating any of the, those four tanks, but unfortunately they have to play up against them, so they're going to have to face every single one of these tanks some part in this campaign. But yeah, we do I have... mean, it, it, it's going to be really up to the uh, tank here, whoever gets it for uh, AG Table Flip, to uh, really like play a very good tank. I know they have, everybody has the capability to do that, but uh, ITG just needs to try to keep it together. Indeed, and we are going to go live with the second half of the first map here. Boomer's looking to spawn up on top of the sign. Hunter gets the pre-spawn, so they are going to go early here. That Boomer's still looking for a spawn. Gets the oh, spawn, and he's going to get the boom onto Rochelle. Really nice boom there. And Hunter's going to work his way on for Rochelle. Or Nick uh, lands. That was a really late attack. They're having trouble getting killing the shocky though. That was a really uh, disorganized attack there by AG. I thought they were a lot tighter, and unfortunately, they couldn't grab their spawns at the same time. And it caused basically the Boomer and Hunter to go in first, and then Jockey and Spitter. And it was just really yeah. uh, off timing. Yeah, and also I think like Dragon pointed out, the Hunter looked like he tried to go from the top of fell. Then actually we have a nice two going out right here. Uh, so there's also a Charger, Hunter, and a Spitter up. Charger's going to go in here right now, trying to charge under. I guess a nice double, double charge, charge. Hunter also lands. Wow! Hunt. That's going to be a lot of damage going out there onto the Survivors, and the Spit does land on Nick. That's probably going to be an in-cap, honestly. Yeah. It is. And Rochelle has found a very nice perch up in the sky. Alright, take the off ramp. Thanks. I've never I seen was surprised by how quickly the uh, the SI actually managed to spawn again. 
Either that or I think the survivors are just a little bit tardy in terms of the uh, movement and advancement for the map. Mm -hmm. We do have that wish up now, so the survivors are going to have to be uh, careful where they take the attack. Boomer has spawned up here, actually manages to miss that boom on the survivors as they jump back. Now he hides behind the, uh, hides behind the and does eventually get picked. Hunter has spawned up also jumping around. Uh, it looks to be Lust. It's kind of making a distraction here. Survivors are going to push somewhat underneath that bridge with the other spawns of a jockey and a charger still waiting to spawn. Indeed, so it should be interesting. And they're going to go jump straight hey, for the draw crown. Rochelle is the one that did Oh, but Nick! He rushed for it and got jockeyed up ahead. And he's actually going to be black and white at this rate, unless he can clear him fast, which he do. That could have been a lot worse. Yeah, that definitely it, could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Luckily, Rochelle did manage to land the draw crown effectively and uh, get the full draw crown. I don't think anyone even helped with the witch. And uh, basically, ITG just trying to pull ahead here, just trying to keep China the only person bleeding. I'm sure they know that there are pills inside of the rooms on the side uh -oh. here. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, yo, accidental fire on the alarm car, gonna set it off. And this should be interesting to see what the stars do here. I bet, I'm betting that AG's gonna go in off of this. They're not gonna wait for any corner. They, they're gonna go. Uh, Boomer goes in and has a swim, gets a double boom. Coach is helpful. He's gonna get charge him in the in the uh, room, and that's gonna be major separation. Next jockey as well onto Ellis. And that's gonna be a lot of damage on the sunshine. That might be a full end cap, and indeed it is. So that's gonna put two of the survivors down in the bleed territory, and that's really bad for them. And they haven't even gone up against tank yet. Yeah, it has not been an optimal chapter for the survivor team as of yet. I mean, that was an unfortunate shot there by Yo Yo Yogurt, and it just really uh, snowballed by there. Ag known to capitalize on the smallest opportunity that you give them. And we have no attack coming in there. They're not even waiting for any choke points. They're just going in. Spitter's going to throw out his free split into the uh, two connecting upper hotel rooms. That and Charger could capitalize yeah. on Nick, though, being stranded. If he wants to be, he chooses not to. Indeed, the other oh, three SI aren't even going to go in. They're going to wait. They're just going to back out and go for a corner hit, it seems. Charger is pre-spawning. That's going to be a little unfortunate for him, so these survivors are going to hear him. And Hunter goes in to lead in the attack and gets dead top, but not killed. And Charger goes in, lands a charge on the Nick, and nice pull in the front by Rochelle. And there's going to be a Hunter in the back, but it gets cleared right away by Sunshine. Yeah, and as we're seeing them move up towards this tank here, they have only one set of pills left, and China is about to be slow, and Sunshine is also bleeding out, so this is not optimal for them. The tank now is up, however, in the hands of Lust. So I'm guessing we're going to throw this right over to an AG war room. Yeah. So let's send it over. Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go. Charge of distraction strategy. Good rocks, by the way. Oh, get skeeted. No doubt. Close. Get skeeted, Betty. Don't stop now. Shoot it. I like these props that they put. More distraction Ready? strats. Up. Oh. oh, that was really close. Can you boom through this fence? I don't know. Yeah. Cool. Boom over the fence too. You see that little pot? Oh, no, you fat ass! Damn, they are on my ass. <laughs> They're gonna push forward. 
Nice rock. Stop attacking the line, dude. Let's get these two in the back, right? Let's go. I'm gonna grab China. There's a guy up front. Is that guy's gonna run to safe room? Get him, get him, get him. Nice shot. We're on the polymer cowboy. We're on the rock. Oh, not even close. Run though. And we are back. That was a team AG war room for that tank in the hands of Lust. What do you guys make of it? Dragon? Oh, well, I would say that um, after they ate the first couple of rocks, they really should have made the push. Because, um, their awareness is really lacking, I'm afraid. When the uh, SI support was coming in, there was like a jockey like behind them for like a few seconds, and, and not one of them like turned to acknowledge it. So that, on that basis alone, I would have said they should have just pushed, but you know, I think they're used to playing rock tanks in a certain way, so they thought they would just push on and persist and try and deal with the rock tank normally. Yeah, and unfortunately they weren't able to really capitalize on what their special infected they got there. Now they're going to have uh, Team Tableflip Kings back on... Uh, actually, wait. Yeah, Team Tableflip Kings back on Survivor. I got confused there because uh, Simba is on the wrong team. Uh, so after they swap, then we're going to get to see uh, Tableflip Kings probably try to avoid any kind of mistakes paralleling what happened to them last chapter. And uh, with, the team, uh, with the team that they are, I'm pretty sure they might have success in doing that. Indeed, really, it's anybody's game. It's such a close score that it doesn't really matter right now. You could basically just call the teams tied and you'd be correct. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to wait for four more members to get ready up. Prince Prestige, a.k.a. Heb, Sunshine, Simba, and Swib. And one of, the, or one of them did actually just ready up, and now another one just ready up. We only have two people left, Hib and Swib. Get your ready up on. Yeah, and then we're also going to be seeing the tank at 50% on this map and the Witch at 28. So again, with an early Witch and a little bit of a later tank. And uh, hopefully, from ITG side, they're going to try to get a little bit more chip onto uh, Team Table Flip Kings than they did for, from the first couple of just regular uh, hits in the last chapter. Indeed, we're going to see a quick here here. Outrider right safe from, from Team ITG, Jockey, Smoker, Boomer, and Charger. They're going to go right in, gets the single boom out onto Ellis, and the Jockey, and whoa, Nick's going to get smoked and just gets punched oh, away by the whoa! Jockey. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, um, take back everything that I said about Team uh, ITG uh, having, not having, not, maybe not having success chipping down Team Table Flip Kings because they just got Luz down to about uh, below half health and then Hib probably about two thirds. That was a great attack. Yeah, Luz, as of right now, is sitting at about 45 HP, so he has a long way to go with only 45 HP left. Um, he's going to have to really that step it up. Attack, it was just shy of 100 HP as well, so that was even better, I think, than it looked. I want to hear Dragon take this next attack. Okay, well they got a boomer on the left, we've got M2, but still proxy boom on Rochelle. And our Hunter coming in, Jockey going on and out to the front with Coach, coach trying to chase him a melee weapon. <laughs> it was oh, rather boy. amusing, but they cleared the attack, which is defending Rochelle out well from the commons. Reloading here. These charges are yeah. seemingly to having an easy time to land punches. Uh, even that charger, after he missed the charge, he had a chance to run all the way back and punch the survivors twice. Which 20% might have the attack up for this is a spit. Rochelle is trying to go for the crown. And gets it. Spit it wasn't quick enough. And they're going to have to be careful here because uh, they have to try to get their optimal spawns for the uh, ladder choke as well. With the hit that they have right now with the jockey, the smoker, and the boomer, depending on the order in which they kill things or if they decide to, they might be uh, down a couple of those things there. there uh, boomer. There's a, a witch. Of, sorry, there's a tank of 50 cent though, so they haven't yeah. got to worry about the ladder choke just yet. They have the tank to get through as well. Uh, that boomer only managed to land onto Rochelle now, so they're probably going to sprint uh, the rest of the spawns when the survivors try to trigger that tank. I, it looks like from their perspective, though, they think they might have... Uh, I don't know why they're putting the smoker there, but the tank now actually is up in the hands of Jules. So let's go ahead and send this over into an ITG war room as one more attack does come in, but gets shut down almost immediately. There's only a smoker left. The smoker's going to get killed just as well after missing his pull. So let's go ahead and uh, send this over. Reloading. Still in play. Where is it? On the right side of the fence, all the way to the end. Should 
Should I hit it forward? Hey. Is do it? your thing. Well, you guys want to get a hit? Or? Well, I yeah. Fell. I'll go in first, okay? Okay. okay. You can get that rock though. You got to commit next. Watch out! Watch the chip. Okay, let's, go. let's go. Let's go. I got prestige. Just cover that. You can get out if you want. How? Yeah. I'm dead. Safe for the ladder. And we are back. What do you guys think of that tank in the hands of Jules? Um, personally, I think the SI kind of uh, lacked in that department of being just that special infected and you know, helping the tank in his quest to wipe these survivors. Yeah, I believe they probably sent that hit a little bit too early there. Smoker went way early and then uh, the rest of the hit really wasn't able to get a whole lot there and the tank was just kind of left staring at uh, a non-health that he couldn't touch. Mm -hmm. There were quite a number of errors going on with that tank play. I think the one, I don't think the tank got there um, quick enough, because he seemed like he wanted to play a rock tank. Oh, I gave his attack. Oh, and <laughs> Nick's just taking it all and uh, not getting shifted out of position either. That's pretty much just what uh, Team Table Flip would want. Indeed, unfortunately, uh, the Charger just... Away. Unfortunately, when the Charger went in, he actually just chest bumped off and Nick and didn't get the charge. If, he, if that charge did connect fully, it would have been a charge straight off the edge, and it would have basically set uh, Team AG back about, you know, back all the way to the front of the alley, pretty much. I don't think the end cap would have gone out, though. Yeah, but I mean, about that tank, I mean, I felt that he didn't get there, play a rock tank in position soon enough. And also, when he came in, he depended a little bit too much on the hittable. And then the, the SI spot went too early and was unsynchronized. There is an attack in the back of a smoker charger combining. They've all dropped down without Rochelle. Oh, he's trying to go for that multi-charge, but only getting one guy. Rochelle might die. Reloading. Rochelle's gonna die. die. Yeah. Hey, but Ken died. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And it there, is deja vu. And there is also a down onto Kiltor at the bottom of the staircase. So really good heads up play there by the smoker to actually grab the hold of Rochelle. And then Boomerang Charger to help uh, with the separation. And actually get the kill onto Rochelle. So very nice play there by ITG. Um, really bringing it back here because it looked pretty grown up to that point, but after that attack, you know, most of the health bonus is now gone and there just isn't much left going for AG. I mean, a simple track cap pretty much ends around right here. Yeah, I mean, after that tank, it, they really kind of uh, resolved it there. They hit with that attack there and uh, Hib was too slow to drop and once that happened, the rest of the survivors were getting interfered with by the other special infected and really couldn't do much. They do find one pill in there, but uh... Unfortunately for them, they're going to have another attack coming in from Team IG, uh, ITG relatively soon. I think it's going to be a Charger, a Boomer, a Smoker, and then the last spawn. I don't think they're going to get another two at the tri that they need here, so they'll probably just wait for the event to start and then send it in. Yeah, they get the Jockey spawn. Indeed, so they're going to do an early hit here right at the first corner. We have a Charger, Jockey, and Smoker looking to make their way in here. Boomer goes out, out to uh, Coach, going to initiate that attack. Jockey does manage the lane, but gets cleared right away, and Charger going to take Coach all the way oh, back. Oh, wow. Now here's the question, do they go back and actually clear him, or do they keep running for distance? Or they're actually, they're actually going to clear him. They're going to take the chance and actually clear Swib, and hopefully Swib doesn't slow him down now. Oh, but another pole going out, but uh, oh. Coach actually managing to cut the tongue somehow. Um, and Alice just said to help out Coach. So they're actually planning to make distance with Coach. That's questionable because he might slow them down. He's going to go down, Colin. Oh I, I think this is the point in time where you should just turn and run and basically just try and make distance. Boom and spit. Oh, but nicely Bob by Nick. They're just clearing everything they can with two guys up. And spit as well. 
I think Sideways has got it though. I think he's pretty much dead. Yeah, that's too dead. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so now this is gonna, this looks extremely similar, like we said, to the last chapter here, and Lust is now common lock pretty much. He's trying to do that, uh, and he doesn't get the tongue cut, however, so he's gonna get pulled back, and now it's just gonna be up to kill a toy for kind of run for distance here. Trude is looking for a spawn to try to end this. Spit's gonna go down, the guy's already there, oh, and, uh, he's got it. <laughs> he couldn't M2 the charger. Trying to give the charger a kiss. Uh, he wants to rough him up. Wow. So, uh, taking back our earlier statements here, that's another nice, nice, nice special infected chapter by Team IG ITG, holding Team Table Flip to only 836 points through two chapters. But this is completely against, like, expectations. I mean, usually, I think what we would agree ourselves as the casters and obviously the viewers would be thinking that these guys should be making, you know, safe from with at least, you know, a moderate, if not great amount of bonus, like, each map, but it's completely the opposite that's happening here. Indeed, ITG definitely putting a showing on on their SI side. Actually, they bait the first attack here. Uh, really nice <laughs> bite, but they're not able to kill any of the SI. Jockey actually fell right in front of the door, but no damage goes on with them. Jockey working his way into the safe, and guess what? Jock on the coach tries to bring him out, and everything's <laughs> just getting shut down. Oh, just dancing on top of his head. <laughs> Well, uh, that was pretty much shutdown right there, because uh, Team IGD managed to bait Table Flip Kings out, and that was a nice shutdown, honestly, because then the uh, jockey decided to try and pull somebody out, Charger just ran around on his head, and then that's the shutdown. Well, I did enjoy the Charger's entry for World Tap Dancing Contest, but that doesn't score any points there in this game. <laughs> my, my, my. Now it looks like they're going to have another attack coming with the Charger, Spitter, a Jockey, and a Hunter Dragon. Do you want this one? Oh, uh, yeah, I had a last map, we'll do it again. So we got another Hunter again from the exact same position, trying to get on uh, Nick. And a jockey reading in to try and get a latch on to Alice. <laughs> they end up switching victims. Uh, Charger trying from a moderate range away and not landing. Uh, that was actually well shut down, despite that being a double cap. It was um, quickly cleared and very little damage. Good play from the survivors. Yeah, good awareness here by the Sora. I was actually managing to get the quick clears on to their teammates to avoid any further damage. And Rochelle's looking to rush the Witch with the Newsy, which is very questionable. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure she's going to let someone else go out first and uh, not try to do that with the SMG. There is a smoker, though. They could have done it. They could have got the crown, but they, they waited for some reason. And now the smoker and the jockey's up. The smoker is looking for the angle oh. on the coach. He's not able to find it just yet. And once Coach Peaks, he's going to throw that tongue out there and hopefully Coach Peaks back around the corner. There we go. He does get the peak. Very nice bait there by Coach. And this Boomer spawned from the front. Boomer gets popped. He's going to assemble the Witch. Or actually, wow. actually assemble the Smoker. And really nice draw crown there by Sunshine. Or not Sunshine, that was but beautiful. Coach. It was uh, China. Yeah, China. And just a really nice shutdown there. The other two survivors were actually busy blocking the spawns in the back so that no SI could come in and try to, like, you know, disturb the draw crown of almighty power. Yes, of almighty power. Of almighty power. I have to say, of all the things in this game, I would say crowning a witch is probably the hardest thing to learn and actually do effectively and consistently. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just because I'm bad at it. Maybe that's it. But we do have to take here. Really nice hunter there, and a boomer goes right onto Rochelle's right, and as uh, Dragon said, a lot of punches go out on, by the Charger onto Sunshine. Gonna drop him to about 28 health, I believe. Unless I'm mistaken. I could be mistaken. That could be 18. Well, here we go. Tank is in the hands of Kill Toy. Return of the Kill Tank. Who has zero damage at the moment and needs to yeah. do something about that. The one and only Kill Toy. This should be an interesting thing to see, and he's not even gonna go for any hittables, unless he doesn't know where the hittables are. Maybe he forgot. Uh... <laughs> Want to take it over to that table flip war room? Let's shoot it over there. Alright. Oh, fuck. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, that didn't work. I'm not going to be able to keep it for 10 years like I was wanting. Well, they stuck it together so we can go for a boomer. Get that boomer. I'm gonna spawn the treasure. Nice, nice, 4 3 boom. Go in. I'm going. Go inside, yeah. 
Try to distract, but don't commit. Oh, quad! Nice. Not distracting no. him, that's going in. Pick up this guy. Take him to the restroom, take him to the restroom. That's gonna go another way. Oh god. It's on hit. Watch him get out. I'll try to stay alive, but I can't promise anything. I got another charger. P push it through. That's the last guy. Dead down. <laughs> no, you I'm, out I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Need more mana. That's slow down. Coddle, give me mana. Leave boots of acceleration. Boots of speed. You have 100 rays, they're pushing you to go. Acceleration. Oh no, I'm dead. Why have I done this? Uh, just save. Stay for the top here. Better run a rock. Yeah. Let's get him a rock. I'm peeking still. I believe. Let's go. Let's go, Magoo. Oh, They're gonna focus fire me. Go, go, go. Oh no, no luck. Keep that charger. I'll go up with the smoker. It's gonna go AI. Mm -hmm, that's fine. You gotta spawn at least. Go get that boom right now so you can get a spitter. Or a hit. I'll Stop. try to. Yeah. They're sitting pretty shit. She's going with that hunter too. I'm a reload. And we're back. That was a team AG tank in the hands of kill toy. Just amazing SI support there. That initial boom was absolutely perfect. Yeah, as Dragon and I were talking about, pretty much that initial tri boom set up everything there, and then a massive amount of damage. Killtoy did a little bit, but then the SI support just ripped apart uh, Team ITG there, and uh, they yeah. have to make up as much distance as they can. Yeah, in an area like Kitty Land, it, it is all on the support. I mean, the tank can't really conjure anything in an area wide open as that. Um, mm -hmm. As you can see by Killtoy's damage, he only got about three hits in that, but that tri boom just. It, Created everything in that attack, uh, and you know, uh, ITG had a very good chance of making it away from there with solid bonus, but they just positioned. They were too focused on hiding from the tank, that they just turned their backs towards that boomer spawn and just let them, you know, eat that vomit. Interesting pull going out right there. Then, oh wow, that's a lot of damage going out. The hunter and the charger wow. both landing in spit. That's. That's bad. And then the spitter stand below is still getting some claws. Alice is going to come up here and uh, it looks like it's got, almost going to be scratched down. Yeah, that's it. Rochelle's dead. Yeah. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Somebody want to lend me a hand really nice SI there, though, by uh, Team AG. And still, it's anyone's game, actually. It's only a 170 point difference. Actually, to the point, it's 170 points. Yeah. That is I actually. I never thought I'd be saying that after two maps, no one in this match has managed to score over a thousand points. Has that yeah. like, happened before in like a first round match where one major team is facing against like underdogs? I I don't honestly don't know. Like I mean that if you would have told me that neither team would have over a thousand points by the start of the third chapter, I would never have taken that bet. This is going to be another interesting uh, interesting turn of events here because that tank is at 12%, so that's an extremely early tank, and uh, if Team ITG is able to get the same amount of success that they've had in the past couple of chapters there, then they could they could honestly... Well, I think I think this is a chapter where one of the teams takes the lead. Like, solidly. I, I actually feel like there's going to be a double wipe with tank. I have really? this sneaking suspicion. My, you know, left-dead prowess is just going off the charts right now. 12%? 
as yeah. a twelve percent tank. Yeah. So are we gonna get a double wipe? <laughs> What's Dragon good? think? I think we're gonna get one wipe, but that's just me being doing a completely random guess. Oh, now I'm gonna ask, who do you think is gonna wipe? See, now you put now you put yourself in that situation. And I'll leave myself in it for a little while longer. Guys, I'll just say one wipe. I won't say who. Oh, you're not gonna tell us who? We have an initial wow. attack coming in here, though. Spitter just throwing a free spit out there, and Charger just going for a really long distance charge, not landing on anything. Thing, obviously, getting shut down right away. And Tank is up in the hands of ITG China. And you want guys to throw us over to an ITG war room? Yep. Let's do it up. Uh, what? That's retarded. You can't curve? Okay, well, I'm just. Oh, you guys are going in? Yeah, he was. Uh, just get a rock. I thought I could get him. He was alone. I'm gonna pass my first. Just hold your shit. I'm just gonna go straight in. If you guys see me about to get half HP, then you come in, okay? Okay, go. Actually, you choose the back? pull one now. Pull one now. Go in. Ready, come in. Go, help him now. I was being thrown around so bad. Nice double. Nice double. And we're back. That was China's tank for Team ITG on the SI side. Uh, what do you guys make of it? Uh, quite a bit of damage actually going out for uh, the SI getting shut down pretty effectively by Team AG. Oh, oh, sweet Jesus. You shot me. Well, I was saying the rails, it was like the... I think China's tank wasn't really utilizing the uh, access of the ro uh, rock selection plugin. Um, yeah. He tried curving rocks with like a two-handed overthrow and, you know, you you're just not going to succeed there. Well, attack is coming in though. Hines are briefly landing on Coach Jockey, trying to give him a scratch and a back rub. Uh, and the other two SI pretty much saving this one's charge and Jockey going up with it. Wow! Spit completely by itself, but still landing in the spit. Actually, I should no permel. I should point out right now, ITG does not know how to use the rock selector on this server. I believe um, that was the second tank that they said they don't know how to curve rock or select what rocks they want. Um, did, did it, you guys just change the buttons up, I'm guessing? Is right click uh, the single overhand? Oh, wait I, thought it was is... just, I thought it was just like E and R for the other animation throws. Well, supposedly neither of the tanks that we've heard uh, have had any luck with the rock selector. If this is if this is Sir Please, R and right click are switch. So if uh... in order to use the one hand overhand, you hit right click. In order to use two hand, you hit R. And they're trying to hit R because that's one handed overhand. That's what's going on. Oh, so it's just they're, you know... Lack of knowledge, for lack of a better uh, mm -hmm. phrase. But we do yeah. have a witch spawned up right at the bottom of the drop down, a little bit forward actually, over by the goose, and they're gonna go for the drop down hit. Obviously, the go now. Uh, that's a little they questionable. They are saving a smoke for the witch. I, th I think that was a little bit questionable. They probably should save for this witch draw. There's a lot of SI spots to come from back there. And uh, I don't really agree with that, but they're going to go for the draw crown right away, and the smoke is going to get the pull on the Nick. I'm not really sure who went for the draw crown, but she's just getting railed on the way in there. She doesn't really stand much of a chance, and smoke's going to get shut down just as well, and really an even amount of damage going out by the survivors to kill off that witch. Yeah, interestingly enough, uh, the SI did decide to hit before that witch went in there, and it was really up to the smoker to try and prevent something it really couldn't prevent, honestly. But we're just going to go in right now, get M2, and pretty much shut down. Uh, Jackie and Spitter are still in uh, spawn, uh, wait, waiting to spawn, and then we have another spawn coming up in about two seconds. They need to, they need to really get a good hit here uh, and get on both Lust and Sideways Box's health uh, come the time of this ladder choke. Pack is going to go in right now, and it's going to be a nice pounce on the Lust, uh, and they're actually going to be able to jockey him back into the spit. Uh, he's almost going to go down there, he's going to commit more pills, and uh, they should be able to get the setup that they want for it. Uh, and this is going to be a pretty crucial part of the map right here. Hib really having no luck with these spits. Uh, it seems like if there's a spit on the ground, he's the one inside of it. It's just kind of unfortunate for Hib, but uh, luckily for the rest of his team, he's kind of acting as a damage sponge here, uh, ma managing to allow Lust and Swib to actually still be in the green when very far away from the red axes, really. Uh, Killer Toy, very hungry for his pills, even though he had just <laughs> over 50 HP still. 
He just wanted to chuck him straight down his throat for this event. He's pumped. This boomer pop going out there. Uh, Smoker is in position. Smoker's gonna pull him off. Uh, not much damage going out there. Gonna try to Smoker's, Smoker's gonna get killed by the coaster. That's really unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> he uh, dropped off the ledge and he didn't know that the coaster did not pass him yet. And they're gonna have a hunter jockey for the top here. Not the charge that they want. And hunter's gonna go for the pounce under uh, else, but he's not gonna be able to land. And jockey gets clear almost just as fast as the hunter did. So that's really unfortunate for them. Not managing to get the charge that they wanted there. Yeah, now ITG is in a little bit of trouble here because you take a look at the health that they do have. They don't have any more pills, but both uh, Hib and Killtoy are up at the point where uh, they still have about 80 health temporary. Uh, but now they are going to have another attack going in. Charger's going to go in, merely misses onto Hib there. That's two more spawns down, and with the health that they do have, uh, Table Flip Kings is probably going to make short work of the rest of this map. Mm. So not all that much to talk about right now. We have a smoker smoke for that back looking for an incap pull. A big hunter pounce, but imagine get skeet there by lust, and that's gonna be the rest of that attack. Uh, smoker's probably just gonna go back and despawn and wait for a pull off up ahead here. They do have a jockey and a spitter. Uh, you know, okay, yes, I hit for this uh, part coming up ahead, but uh, they really want to see a charger here, and unfortunately they don't have one yet. Yeah, I mean this is gonna be it right here. If they don't get somebody off, then uh, team. Table flip is going to be able to make it safer with a nice bonus. Smoker had pre spawn and could have easily been killed, but they do pull Ellis. Can he get back up there? Yes, he has to go around. Oh, he's dropped there. Down. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was a little bit unfortunate. They're going to drop back down now and uh, just kind of escort Killatoy back up. The two non health bonuses putting themselves in position to cover while the uh, two health bonuses are going to take it easy in front. Uh, Swans are going to be up in about mm, eight seconds ish when they're at least going to have three up. Uh, but they're in, they're, they're in some trouble right now on the ITG side because that means they're going to need to at least match this performance to stay in uh, for a Jockey match behind. Oh, he couldn't quite latch on the, on the, the Mick, but uh, yeah, I think the survivors have pretty much got this now. This could Tony very well... Up. Oh, we have Boomer going on to Rochelle and back, but really no SIs to actually support that. So without any SI, Rochelle's pretty much free to just walk in the safe room regardless of getting boomed on. And this could very well be the round that... Uh, AG just pulls ahead in the score points. Yeah. They make it into the safe room with a 512 health bonus. So as you just said, this could be the round where they kind of just turned it on. And they're going to have 1,973 points now through these three maps. Big, big, big map three coming out for them. going to be on team... Uh, Iron at Tough Guy's shoulders pretty much to match that performance, like I said, to stay in it for map four. Uh, unfortunately, with the potential for a wipe here at this early tank, and as we said at the start of the cast, uh, the tanking skills of everyone on Team Table Flip Kings are quite, uh, quite, quite, quite good, like top in the North American community good. Uh, we're going to see a very, very interesting, uh, very, very pressurized uh, survivor run here for Team ITG. We do have an early hunter spawning up against Death Stop by Yo-Yo, and Charger's going to come in just as well. Lines to charge onto Yo-Yo, brings him all the way back to the safe room, but the Spit's not going to be able to get the arc into the safe room. And uh, pretty much there's only a Jockey left now, uh, jumping on top of the safe room door. Going to go for a Scratch, probably, as it's pretty much all he can manage. He's really just messing up the SI spawn timers right now, though, unfortunately. And he does manage to get a double Scratch onto Yules and Yo-Yo. And that'll be the end of the attack. This is cool. Finally. Yep. Tank's going to be up in the hands of Sideways Box. Those sideways box tanks. This should be pretty interesting. He loves to get close quarters with the survivors, so this should be very fun to watch. Let's just go ahead and toss this over to an AG Warm right away. All right. I'll kill it. I'll kill it, smoking. Oh, the charger. charger. Yeah, it's probably the sucks. Yo, 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 yo watch good. that ship there. Oh. You need all your HP. The fuck? You got a hundred raids, they're sitting in the safe room. You need free chip for no reason. Yeah, but they're all five hits. Alright, we got good we got good support. Just try not to go for the one that tank goes. That'll be easier said than done. Alright, let's make noise to hey, please find the hunter over here with the jockey. And make some noise so the tank doesn't get focus fired. Come on. I'm gonna get focused. Let's go. I'm ready to go? Let's go, let's go. Yeah, might as well. Ball's deep, man. May the force be with us. You guys need to go early. Let's go, guys. 
triple, baby. Magic. Yeah, triple. Triple, triple, making money. Making money. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes. Bad triple. Make my sauce, I see. That quad charge or triple charge. That trip, though. Absolutely beautiful charge there by Killatoy, getting the triple charge onto survivors. Um, basically just playing out the tank scenario right there by himself. Yeah, I mean, uh, this dragon called it actually said there was going to be one wipe. He didn't say which team was going to wipe, but he was indeed correct. And, uh, when we said that one team's probably going to pull ahead here, we do now have that. Instead of it being like a 200 point game, now it's about a 1200 point game. 1270 points, uh, lead for team AG Table Flip going into map four. I do actually have to take a second to apologize to anyone watching. My voice is actually going out. Um, it actually hurts to talk right now. I believe it's from the Latino uh, NRJ game <laughs> last night, and my voice, it's hard to talk, let alone concentrate. I believe I said score points at some point in the uh, past round. <laughs> I, was, uh, I didn't note that. But if I, you want to, I, Dragon, I can, uh, Dragon and I can workhorse this if you want us to. Yeah, I mean, it would probably be easier. I'm kind of just uh, not all in it. I was up until, what, like 4.30 in the morning, I believe? Yeah. yeah it was and then late, I had to go to work late. all day. But uh, you guys can go take this way out of this camera, man. That's <laughs> me fine too. with me. All right, Dragon, let's do this. All right, well, I just put my spec cut up. We'll see what the tank they got. They got an 18% witch and an 83% tank. I wonder if that's going to be the uh, super late one around the uh, Peach Pit um, area where they start the event. I believe so, because, uh, and with a tank that late, that really is not going to help out Team ITG at all, because they need to get a wipe here and stop Table Flip. Mm. Attack coming in, uh, triple boom, out of charge, but he got stopped by the, uh, by the post, so couldn't take that far. Bit of damage yeah. on Killer Toy. That was a pretty nice, uh, it was a pretty nice attack, and unfortunately, like you said, they weren't able to get the full separation there due to the, uh, prop placement of the map. So, uh, really what Team ITG needs to do, they need to get more hits like that, and they really need to capitalize really on anything they can possibly get. With that Witch up right now, that's a pretty easy position for the Survivors to deal with, however. Yeah, definitely. Unless a sneaky hunter wants to try around the corner, which he is. He's poised and waiting. Mm. They are likely to try draw. A coach is going up. And gets it. That was anticlimactic. That was, uh... I think the hunter wasn't quite prepared for that, as you've seen. He made the run in just at the same time that uh, Sideways started making the run too, but he didn't recognize that fact, and so he backed away thinking that he was still in baiting mode. Reloading. Yeah, that was a nice play there by Sideways Box. He probably knew they had something set up on there to try to interfere with him, but now it's going to get the team uh, ITG to really chip down table foot more before this tank, because if they're making it with anything resembling that health, it's going to be very tough to wipe them. Yeah, peekaboo hunter. So, oh, it's no fake, I'll just crown a witch. Jock shut down, boom above. Smoker getting a close one. A charger getting leveled by his hip. Yeah, it seems as though Team uh, Table Flip Kings have really picked it up since Chapter 2. Like now on the Survivor side, they've gotten together, they've gelled a lot, and now they're ready just to pretty much uh, make their presence known and try to win this game. I mean, scoring 500 bonus in the previous map is. Uh, well, that's really it strides for the momentum now, and they're fully carrying on with that. Yeah, I mean, and there really hasn't been a very effective SI hit against them since then. Attack is going in, uh, Hunter's jumping around, got shifted about down to two-thirds health. Uh, it's a jockey, a spitter, boomer, and that already spawned up Hunter. Boomer's going to get uh, popped by Swip right into his face, uh, so just one survivor boom there. Hunter's going to jump in, actually, he's going to get dead stopped and shut down by, ha by Hacks remote, and uh, Spit doesn't land on anything, so... That's going to be the end of that attack, and uh, with the way their health looks right now, Hib's actually carrying 100 HP with him. That skybox common. The killer squad was aiming at Yes, skybox commons are always entertaining. Actually, the tank is going to be up right now. Uh, looks like they could go back if they wanted to, and they are going to indeed do that, going back uh, down the right-hand side of that alley right there. Um, they are going to be able to get a little bit of a hit in here right now. Uh, Charger and the Hunter are both jumping in. Charger's going to get leveled. Hunter just bouncing around, gets dead stopped and shut down by Swib. Smoker's going to pull from the front and get shut down. Uh, what worm should we go to, Dragon? What do you think? Survivor, I think we should go to, um, yeah. Survivor, should we go to, uh, uh what's her AG. name? AG's Roar. 
Yeah, for the Sunshine Lo- Sorry, Sunshine Simba tank. <laughs> yeah, do it, kiss me, do it. Oh, well, I did like a thousand damage to him already. So let's go back and just get some more damage to him. I did like 500. I did like another 500. He's coming in. Bounce in the middle. Oh, only fuck no! What the? Let's check that bunch. Yep, and we are back. That was the tank for Team ITG in the hands of Sunshine Simba. Uh, Kilotoy at the end there almost juked that last punch out, but that's actually a pretty good amount of damage going on. Unfortunately for Team ITG, they really, really, really need to stop uh, Team AG before they get anywhere close to the safe room if they want to have a chance at uh, possibly making it themselves and getting a wipe on the finale. Next attack is going in there. Jackie's gonna get M2'd by Hib. Actually, <laughs> imagine, what the? She managed to land on Hib. Spear get shut down. Pull going off here. Charger coming in. Charger's gonna land on the uh, kill toy there. Get him down to where he has to commit his pills to be fast again. But that jockey though. Yeah, Hib was having a nice a bit of a tango there with the jockey, trying to incorporate the use of a map as well. But I, I don't know. I think it, it seemed to me that Hib moved a little bit too far away from the jockey after him doing it. Yeah. I <laughs> have the rain. Yeah, that was that was very interesting. Uh, very interesting turn of events there between that uh, survivor versus jockey. Now we have a hunter, a spitter, a boomer, and a jockey going in. Hunter is going to be pre-spawned in the back there, um, just waiting for the right chance to go. They probably should send this attack in pretty soon in order to get more spawns, and they indeed do. Hunter's jumping up right now. He's going to land on Kilto in the corner. Jockey going in. Uh, boomer's going to land on both Lust and on Nick. So Rochelle and uh, Rochelle and Nick both get boomed. And Kilto is going to stand there and be able to kill that. And the gates are open, so. They get the 75 points of holdout bonus, and they're going to pretty much be able to run for a little while before getting another attack thrown at them. I don't know, Dragon. This isn't looking too good. Nah, it's looking pretty bleak for ITG. Um, all AG really need to do is pass Bill so Lusty in case he gets a bit below 40 in this uh, current event. And this is pretty much the last attack. I mean, the charge is trying to get behind, but... He messes up the smoker's pull on coach, who is the bonus, and he's trying to run around for punches. Ooh. Kiltoy eating damage. Yeah, and but... smoker on coach as well, so that is permanent bonus being wrecked there. Yeah, they got rid of all Kiltoy's bonus, and they got Swib down to about where he's only at, uh... Only at 32 HP still. That's gonna be a pretty... It's gonna be a pretty decent bonus for that map, however, since yeah. they're able to make it. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty steep hill right now for, uh... And they get the 100 points for both the Witch Kill and the Holdout bonus. So, this is going to be a 2100 point lead going into ITG's turn on this fourth map. Is that right? 524? I understand the Holdout bonus is like 75, but I thought the original distance of this in promo was 600. So is that... Is it supposed to be 524 or 525? Um, I guess it's supposed to be 524. I'm not entirely hmm. certain. That might have something to do with kinda, the... It kind of seems weird, though, that it'd be worth 599 distance. It just seems like an odd... <laughs> yeah, that's, that is kind of weird. I guess it it probably has something to do with a uh, point of holdout bonus or something like that. Yeah, but you're right. I guess it has to be maybe an even number in order for the holdout bonus to be divisible. Because I thought I saw a post about that on Left 4 Dead Nation. Huh. Confused. Attack is going in right now, though. Uh, Smoker's going to get an early pull there. Jockey's going to land on a Nick as well. Being covered by this Charger. Charger's going to go in and take the smoke target as the Boomer goes in and manages to land on two. Uh, kill choice going back in, trying to get what he can. Does eventually die. So about 20 points of damage going out for the special infected on that first hit. That's an interesting attack. The survivors were a little bit confused about who was going capped and where they should be running to. And although there were plenty of caps landing, there wasn't actually that much damage from the board. Yeah. There's a couple of caps now, and they are going to have a sneaky hunter up now for the switch. Oh! Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. That didn't work out for a shell. 
Witch is still bad. I need to kill, kill that witch. Oh no. Charging Ellis. They just pretty much watch Rochelle die. That is unfortunate right there. That hunter was able to jump in. Looks as though the hunter pounced him as the witch was swinging, so when the hunter hit him, it did the witch damage. Uh, and now there's only three survivors left for Team ITG with uh, Yo-Yo being killed off by that early witch. That's quite unfortunate now. And that's gonna, this, this does not spell good for them at all. Ibs trying I to get a pull in the back, but... I don't know what the hell happened with that survivor play. Either a complete communication breakdown or... The survivors were just shocked that Rochelle went down and thought, Oh shit, what do we do? Pretty much, yeah. Tech is going in now. Smucker is going to land here. Hunter is going to go in there. Hunter is going to land, and that's a tri cap. Wow. Oh. Mm. So that's going to spell the end of, uh, of ITG's run here, and unfortunately for them, they're going to be facing about just under a 2,000 point deficit going into this last map. And so, uh, unfortunately, the game has, uh, in the past two maps, has completely changed around in favor of Team AG Table Flip. Completely, yeah. So, um, I think uh, I think most people would have been loving to have seen uh, it continue its uh, form in the first two maps, where it was a completely close contest. But um, unfortunately, for ITG, you know, the likely favorites got the momentum they needed in map three, and they they kept with it. Mm. ITG is already calling a good game, but uh, they do realize that they're going to have to play uh, this finale, I do hope. Finale is mandatory, yes. So yeah, I mean, they, are, they already know though right now, because the max they can get on this map as far as uh, bonuses are, that being down 2,000, that's the max they can get if on their survivor turn, IT, if they went them right here and ITG doesn't get touched on their survivor turn, then the max they can get is like 2,400, so there's no way. Well, if they could prevent AG from getting a 3k with this early tank, then that would be oh. something for them. Yeah, at least. And that first attack did a little bit of damage right there. Smoker landed for a couple seconds, so the Hunter, Spitter, and Boomer pretty much split the survivors. Uh, now they're going to have to go and contend with this early Witch here. Looks like Sideways Box is going to be the one who's going to take it. He's going to run up and get that crown. Yes, he does. And now the tank is going to be up in the hands of Jules. Uh, infected or Survivor Worm for this? Whoa. Go Infected. Okay. Do it, kiss me, do it. Side. Go the other side. It's too late now. Let me sack Hunter. Oh my god. Oh, I, I'm very confused why there's no rock selector. There is, but all the buttons are different. You can press E. I don't think I works. I tried it. And someone told really? me it was. Nice. 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 Double hit. Help him. What? Oh, fuck you, Lusty. Yeah, and we are back. Uh, that was the final, or one of, uh, they actually do have one more tank left. That was the second to last tank of the game, potentially, for Team uh, Airnet Tough Guys. They were able to get a pretty good amount of damage after the survivors chose to run outside and the uh, tri boom landed, but unfortunately, he didn't have enough health to fully capitalize off that boomer landing. So, uh, for those that don't know, there are only two tanks on this version of Pro Mod. There's one that we just saw, and then one halfway through the distance point scoring here. So, with that in mind, uh, they're just going to try to keep chipping down table flip as much as they can. Smoker goes in, gets shut down, Boomer gets popped and shut down, Spitter gets killed, and Jockey runs away. Waiting, waiting, goes in, and he gets shut down as well. Yeah, I think with the survival performance there, that was yet yeah, another hip strat in effect. The way they decided to take the tank in that area just by the, uh, by the exit leading to the concert stage. Uh, unorthodox choice in the area to fight the tank, but, you know, hip strat, high risk, high reward, and... Well, it kind of got a high enough reward in this case. Um, yeah, people in chat asking if there's another match after this one. There is not another match after this. It's the only one that I know of for tonight. I believe there was a match before this one, but we were not able to cast it because it would have overlapped with this game. 
Um, yes. So I do not believe there are any more games. I believe all games were actually played. So we have the first uh, groups. Is there one game that wasn't played? I don't know. We might. I don't know. If I go check the page right now. Um, hold on a second, Dragon. Dragon, you can hold this down. I'll be right back. Alrighty then. There is another attack going to be coming up any second now with the Jockey Charger. And two more uh, SI players waiting for their spawns, a Boomer and a Smoker. The ultimate separation lineup, and let's see what they try and do with this uh, attack here. Uh, Jockey's got his spawn. Oh, Jockey and Smoker tried going for it. It's the same guy, Charger, going from far away. I don't actually think he was aiming for anyone. Maybe Coach, but was completely wild the angle. Uh, tank is up in the hands of Yo-Yo, and... Uh, uh, for this one, let's take it to a survival war room, I think. Yeah. Come in, take some, take some. Lasty run! One lost. Got it! Hmm. Welcome back. That was the last tank of the game for Team Internet Tough Guys. Pretty much getting shut down there. Kiss me. They have a proposition for you. According to people, people are telling me that uh, they're, they're the other game that was running concurrently with this one is actually still going on. So they're saying if this one finishes, would you want to hop over there and cast the end of that other one? We could very well do that. What map are they in? Uh, let me ask. And also, what server are they on? That's a question. We do have an attack coming in. The smoker trying far. Boomer gang popped. Hines are trying to punch around like mad. Getting m by coach. Uh, Nick was in the spit, but very briefly. As a matter of fact, uh, kiss me, they are on a Stick Up Kid server and in map 3, so we actually might be able to jump over there to get the second half of that game upon the conclusion of this one. I'm up for that. I could try and I'm up for that, the Dragon. You want to go? Yeah, I got a bit of time. I can do that. Cool. All right. So we'll head over there as soon as this, uh, as soon as this match seems to be over. Uh, they are in the second half of the third map, so we'll probably be able to get the uh, end of map four and the end of map uh, and the entirety of map five. From what I'm being told, it's a pretty close contest, so it'd be it'd be worth our time to go over, as far as I know. Especially since that'd be one of the last maps in this first round. Next attack is going out here. Boomer did get killed. Uh, Smoker's tongue gets broken, and uh, Hunter is just gonna be jumping around right now, trying not to get skeeted, and still going, still going. Gets. Pretty much dead stop trying to land onto El or, uh, Rochelle in the corner and does get killed. So uh, there really is nothing else preventing Team Tableflip Kings from making it to the chopper. Unless a uh, an unexpected uh, large attack, which I don't think they will, but uh, who knows? Hip strats could still come into effect. <laughs> Oh boy. Speaking of attacks, that charger does go in and does manage to whiff. Uh, Spitter goes down as well. Jockey pretty much gets shut down. Now I just have a smoker left. So the chopper is going to be coming in, going to the uh, side of the city where the survivors are now moving to. Doesn't it always go to that side now? Yeah, I believe it is uh, static yes. nowadays. Uh, that's just to stop any uh, it's confusion. Because it also switches. I know in vanilla it will actually switch which side it goes to. It's not static. So in order to take out that you know act of randomness, they actually uh, made it a static uh, helicopter landing zone, I guess you would call it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they do get 4.3k in so it's, yeah, 4,302 points. Yeah, so unfortunately that uh, closeness of the first couple maps here did not translate into the rest of the game. And uh, what's your take on it, Dragon? What do you think was the main thing that turned this game into what we see now? I think for me the main thing was just... Um, Team ITG just not doing enough in terms of the, uh, you know, in terms of their survivor play awareness and positioning. Uh, at that triple boom, really, for me, in map two, was what really, like, destroyed their chances of coming back. Even though it was still close after map two, you know, they had a real chance to make a difference, and they just kind of gave it away. Yeah. Especially, I mean, they had a couple chances to do that there. First attack here really isn't going to land a whole lot of damage. In fact, just kind of going in, waiting for that tank to spawn. Interestingly enough, they already have the boomer up there in position, either to go right now or on that tank. Uh, they're going to be rushing this witch right now, trying to get that crown before the rest of the spawns come up for another potential attack. Uh, and they have to be very careful, because if this somehow goes south and the tank spawns, it could be it could be dangerous, but they actually do get the witch crown here. And uh, I believe it's time to go to our last worm of the game. Which one, which one did we go to last time? 
I believe the last uh, one was a survivors for AG. All right, we should send it over to another uh, ITG war room then to uh, maybe close this out. Let's do it. Let's go yeah, back. well, we can. No. This is all around bad. <laughs> Wow, it was close to me. Awesome. Oh my god. Fucking hard. Oh shit, Jock's quick. You wanna grab me, yo? No, I'm gonna shoot Alright. He's coming back at you. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> that worked. Work. Oh my, smoker every fucking time. Jesus Christ. And we are back. That was the uh, tank for Team AG Tablefoot Kings in the hands of Hib. Uh, getting a couple downs there and managing to get the survivors to have to commit two of their pills early and with China and Simba's, Simba's health already chipped down. Uh, they look like they're gonna go back to the safe room for ammo now. I picked this up just for you. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Team ITG was unable to avoid taking just the one down there to make this, uh, any chance of getting as much points as they can easier, but they managed to, they managed to kill the tank, so that's one thing that they can take home. This attack is gonna go in, Spirits is gonna get shut down. Boomer and a jockey and a hunter still waiting, looks like that hunter's gonna try to go for a DP as the survivors are coming out. Boomer's gonna go in there right now, and he's gonna almost like, kind of <laughs> tries to do a bunny hop and just lands onto Ellis's face. Hunter's still just waiting for that DP. Hey, I'm reloading. I think with the way the health is at the moment, I probably think there's gonna be a wipe come the next tank. That charger almost lands by rocketing off the roof. Hunter gets dead stopped and shut down. Jockey's running around trying desperately to land on Rochelle. It's not going to get much. Hit the lights. Lights. Hmm. There's really not a whole lot Team uh, ITG can do right now, so just try to play the finale out. They are going to break 1,000 points. Uh, yeah. Smoker has a pull on Ellis up there at the top. Uh, just going to get that in cap actually on the the yogurt. Oh boy. Still just going out there. Going to have to try to save him with the Charger Boomer. The rest of this attack coming up now. Boomer's going to land on three. Including the in-cap survivor, gonna waddle in there and cause as much mayhem as possible. You know that hunter, he could have capitalized on Rochelle, like being alone on on the concert stage. Coulda, but at this point, looks like the uh, ITG is already in the position that they are. Lust is just going up top right now, jumping around yeah. the outskirts of the map. Chargers spawned up in the little uh, in the little side room. Is Lust trying to do a uh, Superman skybox spin? Yeah, we actually I mean, we actually saw that in the game at one o'clock this morning. That was crazy. Yeah, shady and his uh, high skill antics. Yeah, Charger's gonna go in here right now and he's gonna miss that charge completely. Spit's gonna <laughs> so just bounces off the ten. So it looks as though uh, both teams just kind of resigned to the fact that the outcome of this game has already been decided. I mean, this is the problem with like. Um, you know, losing health early on in finales because finales themselves are pretty long or seemingly endurance events. And if you already got one or two guys bleeding out, that means at some point you're going to have to commit quite a few pills just to keep them going at full speed, which does eventually play into the hands of anyone that chooses to play a, a long tank hit, which is about to start right now in the hands of Hib again. again. Yeah, uh, do you want to keep it here or send it to War Room? What do you think we should do? Probably send it to, uh, AG War Room. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh oh, Rock. You're a rock. Magic time, make it magic happen. These guys are too strong.
get him a hit. 10 4, mate. Let's do it. Come, mate. Come, mate. Oh, that's some horse shit. We're really close, yeah. <laughs> Good job, mate. They're gonna push you, so get the fuck no, out. Get we'll oh, we'll oh, see if you're oh, saying that oh, when you have no oh. health left. Right click is now the R button. You need to die through the hole! Behind you. No. You need to go through the hole! Go on! I got him! Yes! The dial points! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That is the conclusion of this game uh, with Hib playing a nice tank there at the end, uh, both finale tanks, and uh, that's going to be a win for Team AG Table Flip Kings, 4,302 uh, to 1,275 over Team ITG, and I believe we are going to hop servers now, correct? Indeed, I am ready to hop servers if we could get the slots opened up, and we will get right in there. Right, so as we look at the brackets right now, or the group stage, I guess you could say the matchups, uh, we do have the Table Flip Kings taking down ITG, so they're, they're going to get the win over them. And the game we're about to go to is, I, is it Dynasty versus Team BS, if I'm not mistaken? No, that happened ages ago. Really? What, game, it, what game is playing right now? It's uh, Evolutionary versus Extra Sauce. Oh. And I have asked Zen Digital to graciously open up three slots on that server I if he's so here can. right now um, on my call. Go. Alright. Alright. Just give me just a sec. Uh, we're opening up what? Three more slots? Yep. Alright. Okay, I believe three would be enough, yes. Um, do you know what the score is exactly right now as it stands, Rails, in that game, or are we going to Alright, go ahead. Blind? Pretty much entering this blind. Okay. So I'm jumping in right now, and I will tell you as soon as I get in what is going on. Oh my goodness. Uh, it is right now 1,739 to 509 in the favor of Team Extra Sauce, and we are about to enter map 4. Huh, okay then. That is a little one-sided. Yes. But um, if people want, we will cast it. I just have to load back in the server after registering as a caster, and I will be ready to go. Okay, then. But yes, uh, it was it was asked for by a couple people who uh, messaged me and said, you know, could you cast the end of it? So, uh, since that is probably one of the final games for the round one of this Watch Left 4 Dead tournament, we might as well. Um, Zen, could you go ahead and open up the slots again, or... Did it. Change? Done, done, done. Okay. So as I load this server, we're going to get ready to get this second cast underway. It's already pretty much underway, I guess, the game itself. Um, and yeah, there's about a, what, 1,200-point lead? Yeah, about a 1,200-point differential. All right, gentlemen, have fun. Thank you, Thank Zen. You, Thank you. Um, being told right now that... Uh, these are not actually the main lineups for uh, Team Extra, due to the they, they're apparently we have a couple of ringers playing instead of that main lineup. Uh, the lineups are for Team Extra right now. It's going to be Easy, Jen, uh, Star, Squiggly Line, Star, and Shiki. And then for Team Evolutionary, it's going to be Uber Monkey, Sly Fox, Low Ram, and Zinc. We actually have a tank up right now in the hands of Zinc. Uh, hit really doesn't get much, but uh, this this could be a chance if there was going to be any. Uh, possibility of uh, Team Evolutionary making a comeback, this would be it right here with this tank. What thinks you, Dragon? Is it possible? I'm sorry, can you repeat that again? Because I was actually distracting my load of messages. <laughs> I said, what thinks you, Dragon? Is it possible for them to still make this comeback if this tank goes well? Oh, score wise it's definitely possible, but I mean, the form of 1700 to 500 they walked into the free map. Oh my god, they always walked into that dumpster. They walked into that dumpster. Uh, Rochelle catches the dumpster. As um, a hunter jockey flying around, a double boom. No, they're taking dumpster. a Nick eating the dumpster. Jockey huh, huh, huh. lying. See, Kiss Me isn't in here, so we're now, right now we're radio announcers, Dragon. Right now, um, that's, a, that's a tri dumpster right there. 
Uh, and somebody, the, the person in Kiss Me Spot just got kicked. As soon as we enter the game, all hell breaks loose. There are, it's like a double boom right now here. Nick is dead. Shiggy is the only one left up as Ellis. This tank is just kind of cornering him right now. And that is about to be uh, an early wipe here for Team Evolutionary onto Team Extra. Tank still has about 3k health here. And um, as soon as we mentioned it, Dragon, like if we ask, we shall receive apparently. Well, I hmm. wish that was true in every match, but, uh, hey, I mean, it's happening in these last two matches, so gonna roll with it. Um, unfortunately, my, I crashed when I registered as a caster. I believe it's because I had my auto exec loaded for casting, uh, before I actually registered cause, because of the past game. So let's try this again, uh, executing this and not crashing. I gotta um, say, I love reading the team chat, um, <laughs> in the, uh... <laughs> thing that's going on. There seems to be a bit of a dispute within the uh, Survivor team. Like, should they have pushed? Should they have gone back? As I'm, I'm being told. surprised that they're even mentioning it in team chat. I thought that's something that they discuss over Mumble. Yeah, right. I'm being told now that uh, the Soya Line person is actually Cabby using a different name. Uh, I apologize for not noticing that er uh, originally because we jumped in here and just started randomly casting. So, yeah. It's gonna be 10 percent tank. Super yeah, early. it's it's really gonna be if if uh, Team Evolutionary can kill this tank and then make safe room, they could make this an extremely exciting game by the time this is over. Take us away, Dragon. Reloading. Okay, well for the first attack, they do have a, a hunter on top. They have a spitter on the roof, and as soon as they set one foot outside the safe room, tank spawns up. A boomer tried getting the vomit and getting M2 away from the door. Bob. Hunt is still pouncing around like mad. This is the thing about a safe from tank, though. I mean, as long as the survivors are still there, nothing's gonna happen. It's pretty much a stalemate. I'm a reload. Hey, my hunt is still pouncing around. There's a jockey now, what? Uh, and you gotta wonder what the survivors are thinking. Do they actually have the patience to wait this out inside the safe room? Or are they looking for some sort of little break they can find to just get out of there and uh, actually, take control of this uh, tank fight? Actually, I believe this is a glitch in the config. Uh, this has been reported, and I believe it to be true. Um, in 3.5.2 on the second half, the survivors won't uh, LOS the tank if they're inside the safe room. So that tank will not lose rage. He's just going to stay at 100 the entire time the survivors are inside the safe room. Um, it's just a, a glitch that? in the actual config. I don't know if they know that, but it uh, is holding true. This is the second half of this map, correct? Yeah, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna figure it out. I'm pretty sure they they figured it out. So now they're out of the safe room, and they're gonna have to try to remove their position or move their positions here. Next hat is coming up with a hunter or a charger and a jockey. Spun up right now. Jockey making a distraction. Charger spun up as well. He's gonna corner Nick there. Uh, Charger's gonna. There's actually hunter gonna, mm. intercepting on coach. Lots of damage going out right now. That hunter does get cleared. Tank still hasn't managed to land a rock, however. Tank in the hands of Shiki. They're having real trouble killing that jockey as well. First getting it off Nick, and then when having very low health, still failing to kill it. It seems as though all the coordinations are coming in that team chat, as Dragon mentioned before. Maybe Easy is just without a mic? That could be... that would probably be my guess. Maybe he broke his mic somehow. Either he has no mic or he lost his tongue in an accident. Hmm. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Dragon goes, oh, he lost his tongue in an accident. Do, do you know anything about that, Dragon? Did you, like, get mad at him for shoutcasting a game badly and cut his tongue out, or what? I have a vague recollection, but I was heavily under some substances, so... Can't say a full story that right, I'm learning more and more as we go along here. They're trying to hitbox somebody over that uh death what the hell? That boomer didn't land. Okay. Then the boomer does get popped on the coach. Tank is on second pass. He's gonna have to commit this in. He is climbing over right now. Uh he's gonna say, screw that dumpster, I'm gonna hit this trash can into Ellis, who also gets smoked. Smoker oh, he's gonna put him right next to the dumpster Why don't you though. Get the oh <laughs> no, hit by him. Now he gets hit by him. Yeah, this is a bad position for the survivors to be in, especially with the tank kind of sitting right there. He's going to push in there and get that punch onto Rochelle. This is not looking good. Rocky is ready to help his tank out. Tank is curving these underhand rocks for some reason. 
Junkie getting out because they know they have the survivors in the position exactly where they want them. Tank's still trying to curve these rocks. This is a miss that. Uh... Charger. Patiently waiting for Coach to get back on his feet. Ah, that is the wipe. Yeah, unfortunately, Team Evolutionary unable to take advantage of that uh, tank weapon that they got. What the hell? <laughs> they freed him. Uh, and that there's going to be screwing around a little bit more and uh, saying uh, that that will be the end of that round for both teams. So both teams taking a early wipe there from that 10% tank. I'm interested to know, like, uh, in that instance, or at least in this map that we've seen both teams wiping, I'd be interested to see how, um, uh, was it Team Extra Source, how they made a difference to be 1,300 points ahead. I presume something uh, must have happened in their favor, like in one of the one or both of the first two maps. Yeah, because by the time we got into third map, uh, we saw Team Evolutionary also getting uh, hit pretty hardly uh, on their survivor side. They haven't really been able to score more than 600 points through four maps. Or who knows, we might have like, we might have a finale here that's uh, very much similar to NRJ versus, uh, what was the other, Latin um, noobs. other team? Latin, yeah, Latin noobs. Yeah, I'm ready already. Yes, and apparently, uh, they are still sending those, um, coordinations in through the, actually now both of them are, both of them talking in chat, so. Maybe he doesn't have a mic or a headset, that makes sense. First attack is going in right now, um, things are getting skeeted, uh, like hunters, and then, um, more of the charger got shut down, and the spitter also got shut down too. They'd be careful about this witch right here though, try not to get too much ship on that tank. Tank is gonna curve nicely around the corner there. And they do set the witch off. Oh boy. Oh boy. But they do get the remote ground, but the tank is spreading the damage. He's getting some nice punches here. Unfortunately, though, what happened to his health? It's no health. Charger left. getting on coach. He's just got to be patient. He's got to wait for the support. A hunter's just going in on his own, though, and the smoke is just waiting. And not really doing much. I'm a reload. That's unfortunate. Started off really, really well, but then when the tank went in, the survivors were just able to pretty much rail on him before he was able to get a whole lot of damage out there. So they only get one down and a couple more punches, only a total of uh, five actually going out onto the survivors. Yeah, I gotta say, that tank seemed like way too eager to act on that witch and be triggered. I mean, it's great and all, but you, know, you gotta realize that you need support for that to actually work. And a witch alone isn't gonna do much. Exactly, but I mean, if that witch had if that witch had managed to incap the survivor, that would have been probably a different story. But uh, luckily, a heads up play by I believe it was Nick there to actually get that witch crown before anything bad happened. Next attack is going in. Burning be, hunter. Burning hunter. I'm unfortunately, sorry. unfortunately, not going to do a whole lot of damage. Uh, and the jockey does get onto Ellis in the back there for a few ticks of damage, still not being cleared. That's gonna be another set of pills that they're gonna have to commit. But again, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot Team Evolutionary can do right now, uh, sitting on Infected, um, with a almost 1,500 point differential going on. Uh, team Extra is pretty much going to be able to win this first match, unfortunately, unfortunately for Team Evolutionary. Smoker Hans, a charge of Boomer up next. They're going to be trying for that room. Uh, trying a prediction charge, didn't quite pan out though, against, uh, versus Nick. Once again, dead, stopped and killed. Smoker can rig a full pull. Yeah. Again, there is only going to be one tank uh, next in this finale. So, um, with the one they already killed, and then this one coming up, that's going to be it. Only two instead of three due to this version of Pro Mod. Uh, and the survivors are in a pretty, pretty darn good position here. They still have an extra pill left on the stage, and four with them uh, up there right now. Uh, however, both. Cabby, Easy, and Jen, all three of them actually are only um, a couple hits away from being slow, maybe like 10, 10, 15 damage each. Tank right now is up in the hands of Mallow. Stands for Marlow slash Low Ram. 
Uh, and it is interesting to note that Team Evolutionary playing on Infected right now is actually a representative formed in the L12 group. All right. Mm hmm. So um, it's very interesting that they're coming in here to get this uh, tournament experience right now. Quite brave of them to go in there and play against uh, players with a lot more um, skill and a lot more experience. Yep, it all helps. Certainly. That'll hold me. And I believe, as we mentioned at the top of this cast, when we were back, uh, we were back on the other game. Actually, um, it's all about playing as a team and that kind of experience. <laughs> what? I, lo I love the tone of that message from Marla. Get me a rock, I guess. <laughs> like five periods. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what are you waiting for, guys? Just, you know, let's get something started. Exactly. Uh, is he on pass too? I believe he is. Yep, he's gonna have to commit because he only has about 40% of his frustration left, so he's gonna have to roll in here. As he is rolling in, uh, he's gonna get chipped to hell by Team Extra. Throwing that rock, long distance, almost almost got there. Boomer's gonna land on one. Uh, Smokers is kind of running around. Jackie's also just kind of running around, going quite early there. Tank is gonna run up there. Thankfully, he has Rochelle a uh, little bit cornered there due to those commons, so he's gonna get that down onto easy. Common gang fucking floored right into the concert stage. <laughs> Exactly, he's has about 1,500 health left, trying to curve that rock in, just kind of throwing his punches around there, missing Shiki. Oh, but, actually punched over his head. What the well. heck? That was very strange. That was weird, but, uh, imagine to get some pretty good amount of damage, but unfortunately now, um, there are only a couple hits left to try to keep Team Extra from getting into that chopper. Well, they've actually got enough pills to get everyone back to full running speed, but, uh, yeah. um, it depends on... How much the bleed out takes effect until the chopper arrives, and what the SI can do about to, to uh, amplify that bleed out. Yeah, I mean the SI are only gonna have they're only gonna have a couple more hits to really amplify that. They need to get on Cappy and get rid of a lot of that permanent health. Hunter is up in the air right now, kind of pouncing in the start charger as well. Uh, Hunter does get skeeted. Then the charger is going to go in here. Charger's gonna get a nice charge there onto Rochelle, but the spit unfortunately That's is going blood. to yeah. Let's see. Oh, close. Smoker tried pulling a neck with the spit. Didn't work. Oh. Oh, well, the tongue did work at the second try, but he tried to do it when the spit was still up. Indeed, that actually did match to chip a lot, or a little bit of Cabby's health down. So now he only has uh, 27 left, 26 of permanent health. Um, so, this, this static spawn of this chopper is going to put it in position for the survivors from us just to make it there. They have a couple more hits to get through, however, with a jockey, a spitter, a hunter, and a boomer, so 2-2. Two, two. If I was a survivor, I'd be positioning myself uh, on the other side of the uh, seats, actually. Just for the tap. But there is a bit of spit. Nick getting a spit. Mm. Almost went down. Yeah, so any permanent health bonus they have left, it's really down to 8 right now, so... But un unfortunately, for Team Evolutionary, they are going to be able to make it into that chopper, it seems. Uh, should be coming in any second now. There we go. Oh, it is going up on the other side. Interesting. Whoa. Okay, I, I always assumed that they were static, but... Uh... I don't believe so, actually. Um, unfortunately, that hunter just took the charger's target, so charger went through. Spit is going to miss right now. Tried to run back in, trying to get those fists as he possibly that. can. Yeah. So there is no more permanent health then. But with that, the survivors are going to be able to make it into the chopper here. That's going to be a chopper finish for Team Extra Sauce on this finale. And uh, for those who don't know, we did switch to this game probably about... Uh, Pretty much at the start of the fourth chapter because we were uh, finishing covering the AG Tableflip game versus ITG before. But uh, from what we've seen right now, it's been a pretty dominant performance by Team Extra Sauce over Team Evolutionary. And their grand total for this match is going to be a total of 2,757 points. Really, uh... The only thing that Team Evolutionary can look for right now is to maybe try to survive past that early tank. Uh, get a little bit of a moral victory going. And that early witch as well. If they can use it right. Ooh. Reading the survivor chat. Let's go, let's wipe, I wanna be done, troll low low. Huh. I'm not exactly sure if that's uh... 
Yeah, unless they're trolling, I, that's not really an encouraging mindset to see from a L to L team, to be honest. Reload. Yeah, um... I, I think it's kind of like treating the experience like it's a chore rather than something that could actually, you know, help them learn something for future reference. Uh, and never mind, that attack is coming in. I'm not even punches. waiting for the win. Yeah. Getting juked out very Com nicely there complete. by Rochelle. Yeah. <laughs> Rochelle's like doing it with her back turns to the tank. She just doesn't care. Tank is hitting Nick. Oh no. Hitting Nick towards the witch. <laughs> Nick is staying near the witch. The witch just went off. Oh no. And so now oh, God. Um, Zank is about to get completely just destroyed by this witch. That's going to be a kill going out. Four team extra on two team evolutionary. Wow. That was just some. Terrible luck. Um, something really freaky is happening. I can't see the witch. What do you mean you can't see the witch? I hear her. I don't see her. <laughs> Literally. I don't see her. Um, I didn't see the SI either. Like I huh. saw the. I think I saw the charger. That was it. I do see that hunter though. Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, witch did pretty much get the kill and then run off. So. Uh, oh, does get a nice skier there by Uber Monkey. So, Chalky Smoker Spitter is the rest of the setup for Team Extra. Spitter does get picked. Uh, pretty much single spawning right now. It's kind of jumping around the stage with that Jockey. And Easy is waiting on the roof of the... Uh, it's going to rocket smoke, he's telling oh, us. Oh, going to rocket smoke. This is uh, this will be interesting. going to rocket smoke in when they get the rest of those two spawns. I'm trying to get a tri-cap to put an exclamation, part, uh, exclamation point on this win for Team Extra. Rocket smoke is going in. Rocket smoke. I'll be missing my tongue on coach. Jockey's going off to coach now. Jockey's saying, "Yeah, rocket smoker, screw that. <laughs> Try rocket jockey. Jockey, charger damage too. pounce. Charger damage pounce. Oh, you <laughs> missed the charge. A couple of fists there onto uh, Mallow. Yeah, unfortunately, not a whole lot going on in terms of uh, competition here, but due to the fact that the score differential and also having one survivor dead and the uh, left to learn representative team just not really having a whole lot of fun. But then again, they should have, they should be coming in here with the idea that uh, they should be able to learn a lot from these experiences. Coach is pulled over right now. Uh, the rest of his burn health being ticked down by the smoker. And uh, this is zone team extra is just kind of single spawning at this point. Butcher that boomer is not going to get much of anything there. He's going to be popped and proxied onto Ellis. I have curiosity, Dragon. What time is it where you are right now? It's just time 3 a.m. Oh my goodness. So you f you're, you're feeling like how uh, Kiss Me and I feel last night when we did the cast of uh, Latin Noobs versus NRJ. Yeah, except that I put work tomorrow as well, so oh. I'm going to be hopping straight to bed after this. Okay, okay. Well, judging from the way in which things are going, this track app is moving in here right now, trying to make Dragon's bedtime all that closer. Charger's gonna go, whoa! What? Did you catch that? That was a weird uh, level. Yeah. Like, Rochelle got pinned up against the wall, and then the level took effect. It might have been because when he sent the Charger in, he was switching control? I believe the Charger is a tank. So when he sent it in, it might have switched control and then just randomly stopped. Odd. Seems most likely. Yeah. Tank throwing off his cur or showing off his curve rocking skills, trying to curve underneath the stage. I don't believe that's possible. It's very, very hard to do. Maybe, maybe it's, it is possible, but just uh, extremely hard. Going for a rock there. Smoker does land on the Milo. Charger's gonna miss. Uh, looks as though the tank wants to take. What the heck? <laughs> Landing the rock backwards. He, he there. looked like he wanted to punch the smoker victim, but then got juked by a, a stationary coach. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! So now Malo is down in the middle of the action here, and uh, that rock did miss. Hunters is kind of pouncing around. Uh, easy saying rock only in chat. Uh, rest of the spawns are about to be up with a boomer and a jockey. Oh, Boomer's gonna jump in here right now and land a nice boom there on the coach and also the in-cap survivor. 
I believe that was a rock there. Nice rock by Easy as that tank. Uh, Jockey does land on Rochelle. It looks as though this is going to be, uh, this is going to spell Doom 14 Evolutionary and their uh, competitive Left 4 Dead 2 debut. Uh, Tank still just jumping around, trying to get some nice jump rocks there. Charger Smoker and a Jockey are coming up right now for the infected spawns. Uh, looks as though Coach is about to get rocked again by Easy, and that pin is going to end it. So that will be the end of the game between Evolutionary and Team Extra Sauce, with Team uh, Extra making the or taking the win with a grand total of 2757 to 879.